it all happened in, folks. That is one room where our founding fathers come away from days on end. And the June July heat of 76, working on the declaration, made it its necessity, its order, what's in it, what shouldn't, yada yada. Yeah. Which they did, of course, with the windows shut and the shades drawn for secrecy's sake. After all, you know, call it what it is, they were committing treason. It is open, you need tickets in advance, however, to see the sights. They are free, I believe, until 1 in the afternoon, and to which point they are $1. For spare, I thought those more guys are doing that in the summer. We've got the Fireman's Hall Museum. Ooh. Lovely place to go learn about the history of firefighting here in this city, which, if you go back far enough, it's also the history of firefighting in this country, more or less. It is open today, being that it's Tuesday. Watch your heads on the left here with this uh, low branch. All right, good duck. We're all safe. <laughs> and over on the left here, this gap of the buildings, is Elfrith's Alley, the oldest continuously occupied street in our nation's history. Okay, look down that, that's pretty much exactly what it looks like, all the way back to the colonial era. You know, give or take a couple of anachronisms. 10, 11, 12 years ago, first constitution center of the nation. It's rather weird, because you'd think we'd have more sights on that foundational document of our country, but hey. You can go there and learn about founding documents, who made it, how it was laid out. The various amendments made through over the years, what it does and doesn't cover. It's all very important. And of course, the old pink building here is the Federal Reserve. Federal no. Reserve. Yeah. Now, when that place is, of course, when they are, they're going to take a tour of the floor. 
towards public beautification. Which uh, I think that worked out well. It's very nice even on a dull day like this. And when the sun hits it, it's even uh, prettier. And speaking of public beautification, folks, we can grab open matches on this for a buck throughout our fair town. As Philadelphia is sometimes called the largest open air art gallery. Yes, 